Hey guys, how's it going? So it's uh, it's late on a Wednesday night, um, but Apple just released a pretty, pretty, pretty impressive product. So I just wanted to jump in here because um, I feel like it w it's really moving in the right direction and it's actually resolving a lot of the issues that I talked about in my previous reviews uh, with the uh, MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. So basically the M1 Max is now available in its own enclosure without a monitor and with lots of connectivity. Plus they double down and they created a friggin new processor which is better than the M1 or the M1 Max, and it's called the M1 Ultra. Basically what they did is they were like, okay, the M1 Max is actually really good, but will be better than one M1 Max. Two M1 Maxes. And so they basically put them together. So now there's double of everything double of unified memory, double speed, double processor. And since it's on a SOC, system on a chip, it has all the benefits of the low power consumption. From the original schematics, you can tell that the M1 Max is designed to be connected with another M1 Max. Now the M1 Ultra has double the memory bandwidth, 20 core CPU, 64 GPU, and you can edit 18 8K videos at the same time. So the M1 Max already offers a lot of performance for the cost. The Max Studio with the M1 Max starts at $2,500. And the Max Studio with the M1 Ultra starts at $4,000, which is, you know, it's not a small amount of money, but for what it offers, I feel like it's actually a really good deal. Especially if you compare it to the previous Mac Pros, which costs a lot more. Now that we have all of these SOCs with all of this GPU and CPU at this price point, I really hope that there's gonna be more software optimization. Cause I think a lot of industry professionals would want to take advantage of these computers. Cause the problem with the M1, even though it was, you know, already quite powerful, the problem was always the software optimization, um, especially for architects. And what's really incredible is the design, literally just a aluminum box, and it has the capabilities of a full workstation. So you can put it in your backpack, you can put it in your suitcase, and as long as you have a monitor and a source of power, you basically have a full portable workstation for you with loads of connectivity. On the back, you have four USB-C ports uh, rated Thunderbolt 4 and you can connect up to four 5K monitors and an additional 4K TV screen. Who really needs all these monitors? <laughs> I have no idea, but I mean, it could come in useful. And they've kept two full-size USB-A ports, which is awesome because, you know, people still use those. And if you don't wanna buy Apple's proprietary monitor, which are beautiful, but, um, a little expensive. It has a HDMI port that you can connect your own monitor to. You still have a regular size audio jack for your headphones and your audio system. In the front, there's two USB-C ports and a full size SD card reader. So to wrap it up, I'm super excited for this. If this is a portable, super powerful work machine. And I think it really has the potential to transform the industry, even the very slow moving architecture industry. So we'll see what kind of software optimization we'll get. And um, I'm also really curious to see how the competition's gonna respond to this. So yeah, super excited. And um, let me know what you think, what you think is gonna happen with these new machines. And just another note about video editing. I think this is also gonna transform the video editing industry. And I think now it's all gonna be about coming up with creative ideas. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you buy an M1 Pro, M1 Max, or an M1 Ultra, because I think all of these machines are actually capable of delivering amazing quality and um, really good power for editing. 
yeah, so I just wanted to drop by and deliver this exciting news. Um, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about this. Like, how do you think this is going to transform the industry? And how do you think PCs are going to respond to this? Yeah, I think we live in very exciting times and I hope I can get my hands on this machine very soon. And just a little announcement, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing my 100K Q&A. And I'm also going to be doing some giveaways. So uh, I'll be announcing them in my community post and in my newsletter. So if you want to participate, make sure you sign up to the newsletter and uh, just keep an eye out for the community post and stay tuned. And if you want to check out my other MacBook reviews, I have one on the M1 Air. I'll leave it right here. And I have one on the M1 Pro. Uh, I'll leave it right here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.